everyone welcome back to my channel today we are planning the month of July and this time I am actually doing a voiceover this is my first time trying this I had some issues with my microphone so we'll see how this goes right now I'm just kind of taking everything off of my planner um, I went ahead and did something a little different this time. I'm using some planner notes that I typed up on my computer so that when I do go ahead and plan, it just helps better have me organized as far as when I'm putting things in. So I have all of my dashboard information, all of the things I want for my extra pages, and of course the first page was everything for my main calendar. Now I am showing you that I am using um, the Planner Kate Fireworks Monthly Kit for July. It is super cute. The kit numbers, it is kit 333 H1, H2, and H3. Those are the sheet numbers. I'm going to go ahead and link Kate's website below. And right now she is having a 25% off sale that is going to end July 21st at midnight and the code for that is PKLOVE25. I will also put that in the description box. Right here I am using some of Planner Kate's sample stickers to write in my daughter's practices and weightlifting schedule for the month of July. I felt like in June I had used the strips of washi and put them across the dates and I just felt like it kind of cluttered up the month. So I'm using these boxes to fill the to fill that part in and I'm going to stick those in the stripe section at the top and then that way it just lets me know that every Tuesday and Thursday they have practice and then the other days that they have weightlifting. Here I'm filling in several of our appointments for the month. You'll notice that I have to pull up some stickers and readjust them. I've said this before, but it bears repeating. I love the fact that Planner Kate stickers are so repositionable and they don't leave any type of residue. You'll probably notice at other times throughout while I'm planning for the month that I pick up stickers and put them down, but they are just so easy to work with. Here I am using some washi to mark off 
a time period that I am going to be out of town. I'm actually going on a trip to scrapbook with some friends. So I did want to notate that during that time period, it was one event and I just love this striped washi. It really is so attractive with these stickers. Planner Kate always includes some really cute icon stickers on her second sheets, like the H2 sheet here. And right now I am putting in that I have a hair appointment later this month and I have chosen to use the cute little scissor and comb icon sticker that is included on this page. Right now I am putting down my daughter's work schedule for the month. The planner notes really came in handy during this time because she has lots of days that she does work and so it helped keep helped me keep track of those dates and I was able to just knock it out pretty easily. Right now I am putting in my husband's work schedule. I've talked about this before and I've I usually do it off camera, but I thought I'd just put it in here, speed it up to show you. So with Planner Kate, you can order stickers with one sheet of just one letter. So because he works days or he's off or he works nights, I went ahead and ordered a full sheet of those stickers. And I do always like to coordinate them with the colors of the month. Just when you think that you are finished with your planning for the month, uh, you realize that you've actually forgot an event. So that is what I'm doing here. I am putting in one final event, which is a softball tournament that will be held on a Saturday. And I'm going ahead and putting that in here before I move on to filling in my dashboard. Now I am moving on to the setup of my dashboard. I just love that mermaid detail sticker that I put at the bottom of my first box. It is just really cute. I am setting up, of course, my habits section and my book section. I have my goals section at the top right and in the section under the month, I am going to put the YouTube projects that I'm currently working on. The sticker that I put down in the July box is from the Erin Condren monthly sticker book. Um, I usually pick a sticker from that each month that I can put in there just to kind of give it a little extra flair.
So here for my extra pages, I am keeping everything the same as I have in previous months. I'm dividing that first page in half and I'm going to put at the top a little strip of washi from the Erin Condren monthly planner book and in this section I'm going to list the things that I have to purchase. At the bottom part I am listing some um, coupon codes and on the other side of that I am going to make a list of the packages that I am waiting for. Since I'm actually waiting on three packages from Amazon, I decided to use the clear circles from Planner Kate and put them down so that when a package, one of the packages of the three comes in, I can just go ahead and check it off. For my last two pages, I am using those to write down the house projects that we have going on and of course my Bible in a year tracker which I have to print out but that will go on the other side. I will go ahead and put the label for it at the top. That is going to wrap it up for the month of July. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope it has given you some inspiration for planning. Please give this video a thumbs up if and please subscribe if you have not. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye guys.